there YouTube today I'm making a video on how to install Minecraft Forge and install Minecraft mods now you need to install something called Java there'll be a link in the description for you to download it if you don't already have it so first choose which version of Minecraft you want to, to mod and that and then find it and get the recommended one probably because it's going to be stable so you install it it's going to come to an ad you're going to not click anything you're going to wait for this please wait here where it gives you some time then you're going to click skip it's going to ask you if you want to keep it or not you're going to wait for this here to not be blue because it's running a security scan right the security scans over so it's going to have gone to your downloads folder so you're going to open that you're going to drag and drop it to your desktop it's going to transfer right close that double click it's going to open a mod system installer you're going to install the client so click ok it comes up with a downloading libraries installing forge thing once that's complete get this so you're going to click OK. Right, I'm going to go to Minecraft. I'm going to go to Installations. I'm going to go to New. I'm going to click on Versions. I'm going to go down to where it says, says this. And you're going to go to More Options. I'm going to change this, which is the default, to how to half of however much RAM you've got. So say you've got 16 gigs, you're going to do 8. Say you've got 8 gigs, you do 4. I've got 8 gigs, so I'm going to change that to 4. You're going to Create right now you need to open this first because otherwise the folder is not going to generate so you're going to click play you just click on understand the risks okay. just going to open up give it a second this might take a while to load it depends it's going to load right it's going to open give it a second it's going to come up with this and it's just going to load the forge and set everything up and it's going to come up with this right now you want to quick game you want to click the windows key and R and it's going to open something called run this will come up you want to type in this percent app data percent going to take you to a folder you should should have have all your different app data you want to click minecraft you want to click mods now we need to download a mod or two it's going to go to this this is going to be linked in the description you're going to click on this you want to scroll down until you find 1.12.2 or whatever version of minecraft you're modding it's right so these are the mods so we're going to go with an easy one just enough items this is a mod where it tells you crafting recipes and all of that stuff it's gonna gonna click download here right you're gonna wait a second it'll go it, sometimes it might go to a different website depending on what it is but there's plenty of websites out there to get mods you're gonna click keep again it's gonna run a security check right so we've got that security check so you want to go back to this mods here and you're gonna give me a second going to put it like that open the mods folder again and you want to drag it into there so now you've got just enough items so then once again going to open the minecraft launcher it's open so you're going to play it it's, it's going to open, open up. up give it a second, second. Right, so yeah. this depends on what mods you're downloading. If you're downloading a lot of ton of mods and you're playing a ton of mods, does it depend? 
Right. So now, single player, create a world, put it in creative, create it. It's going to load the world up. I'll be right back as soon as the world is loaded. Right, and it's loaded up. See? Got got it. You can do many, many things with this. But now you can you can click this here. Cheat mode, so you can be in survival and you can cheat. Do slash game mode zero. Well, I, I need some diamonds. Search option, and it's all nine times out of ten. Uh, it will give you all modded stuff. So say you, say you're doing all, you've got other mods installed, then it's gonna give you the stuff for them. Uh, look, it will give you the search options and how to make each thing. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and there's going to be a second part of this video coming where I'm going to teach you how to make different set up different mod folders so you can have like 1.12.2 mods and 1.14.4 mods without having to every time you want to you want to play a certain like 1.12.2 mods so you don't have to remove the mods and then put like the new mods in so yeah um, subscribe if you've enjoyed and check wait for the next video thanks for watching